Ever thought about traveling the world alone? No? Well, you might want to reconsider. Imagine the freedom of waking up in a city where no one knows your name. The thrill of stepping into a bustling marketplace where every sight, sound, and scent is a new discovery. That's the allure of solo travel. It's a chance to step out of your comfort zone, to challenge your preconceptions, and to discover a side of yourself you never knew existed. It's about setting your own pace, choosing your own adventure, and embracing the unexpected. It's about finding beauty in solitude and courage in the unfamiliar. It's about tasting local delicacies on a whim and striking up conversations with strangers. Solo travel isn't just a journey across continents, it's a journey of self-discovery. So now that we've got your attention, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of solo travel. Now you can't just wake up one day, pack your bags and head to the airport. Well, you could, but we wouldn't recommend it. Planning is the key to a successful solo adventure. It's the groundwork that paves the way for an unforgettable journey. It's like cooking a gourmet meal. You need the right ingredients in the right amounts prepared in the right way. First off, research your destination. Don't just pick a country because it has a cool flag or you heard a catchy song about it. Dig deep, check out travel blogs, read guidebooks, watch documentaries. Get a feel for the culture, the customs, the climate. You want to know what you're getting into, whether it's the bustling streets of Tokyo or the tranquil fjords of Norway. Next, book your accommodations. There's nothing like arriving at a foreign city in the middle of the night with no place to stay. Trust me, it's not as fun as it sounds. So, whether you're a hotel person, a hostel enthusiast, or a fan of homestays, book ahead. And while you're at it, make sure you've got a rough itinerary. You don't want to spend your whole trip figuring out what to do next. Now let's talk packing. You might think you need to bring your entire wardrobe with you, but resist the urge. Remember, you're the one who has to lug that suitcase or backpack around. Pack light, but pack smart. Essentials only. And by essentials, we don't mean a hairdryer or a set of encyclopedias. Think clothing appropriate for the weather, a good pair of walking shoes, toiletries, and don't forget the first aid kit. And one more thing, always have a plan B. Because let's face it, no matter how well you plan, things can go awry. That's part of the adventure. So have backup options for accommodation, transportation, and activities. Remember, a well-planned trip is a safe trip, but don't forget to leave some room for spontaneity. Traveling solo doesn't mean you're inviting danger, but it does mean you need to be extra cautious. Let's dive into how you can protect yourself and enjoy the journey at the same time. First, let's talk about the power of communication. It's a no-brainer, but often overlooked. Inform someone you trust about your travel plans. From your destination to your anticipated return date, let them know. It's not about having a babysitter, but about having a safety net. Now you may say, I'm an adventurer, I don't need a safety net. Well, even Indiana Jones had his whip, didn't he? Next up, safeguard your belongings. Picture this, you're at a bustling market, soaking up the vibrant colors, the enticing smells, the energy of the crowd. You're in the moment, and that's great but keep one hand on your wallet. And no, it's not just about pickpockets. It's about misplacing your stuff in the excitement. So keep your belongings secure and within sight. Remember, your passport is your golden ticket. Lose it, and you're not Charlie Bucket, you're Veruca Salt. Now let's talk instincts. Your gut feeling is your best friend on the road. If something feels off, it probably is. Trusting your instincts is not about being paranoid. It's about being aware. You're in a new place, surrounded by unfamiliar faces. If something doesn't sit right with you, walk away. Walk away like you've just seen your ex at a party. Finally, don't forget to research local customs and laws. What's acceptable in New York might not fly in New Delhi. Knowledge is power, my friends. And in this case, it could save you a whole lot of trouble. So, there you have it. The basics of staying safe on the road. It's not about being fearful, but about being smart. It's about enjoying the journey but with your eyes wide open. Remember, the best adventures are the ones you come back from. Safety first, folks. That's the mantra of any seasoned solo traveler. So you're in a new city all by your lonesome. Feeling lonely yet? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Now, navigating social situations in a foreign land can seem daunting, especially if you're flying solo. But hey, remember that the world is one big party and everyone's just waiting for an introduction. So, let's dive into a few ways you can make friends while traveling alone. First off, group tours. 
They're an incredible way to meet like-minded adventure seekers. Whether it's a cooking class in Italy, a hiking tour in Patagonia, or a historical walk through the streets of Istanbul, group tours are your ticket to finding your tribe in a new city. Plus, they come with a guide who knows the lay of the land, so you're learning while socializing. It's a win-win. Next up, local events. These could be anything from food festivals, live music shows, to even a pottery class. The key here is to participate, engage with the people around you, ask questions, share experiences. You'll find that the commonality of the event makes for easy conversation starters. Now, let's talk language. Learning a few basic local phrases can go a long way. Not only does it show respect for the local culture, but it also breaks down barriers. A simple hello, thank you, or where's the best pizza in town in the local tongue can open doors to conversations and who knows, maybe even friendships. And remember, it's okay to feel a bit awkward at first. It's part of the adventure. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and that's where the magic happens. So embrace the butterflies, muster up some courage and start a conversation. You might just stumble upon a story that's worth more than any souvenir. Remember, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet, so don't be shy. Solo travel isn't just about seeing new places, it's about experiencing life from a different perspective. A perspective that's uniquely yours, without outside influence, allowing you to absorb the world in its raw and authentic form. When you journey alone, you're not just a tourist passing through, you become a part of the landscape, blending into the rhythm of life that pulses in every corner of the globe. The smells, the sounds, the tastes, they become a part of your story, etched into your memory, creating a vivid tapestry of experiences that are wholly and uniquely yours. And it's not just about the external journey, but the internal one as well. Solo travel has a way of pushing you out of your comfort zone, testing your resilience, and challenging your perceptions. It's a journey of self-discovery, where you come face to face with your strengths and weaknesses and learn to navigate the world with a newfound sense of confidence. The art of conversation with strangers becomes second nature. You learn to adapt quickly, to think on your feet. You become a problem solver, a storyteller, an adventurer. You learn to trust your instincts, to listen to your gut. And in doing all this, you develop a set of skills that are invaluable, not just on the road, but in all aspects of life. Perhaps one of the greatest gifts of solo travel is the opportunity to immerse yourself in different cultures. To see the world through the eyes of those who live in it, to understand the nuances of their customs, their traditions, their way of life. It's an education unlike any other, and it fosters a deep appreciation for the diversity and richness of our global family. In essence, solo travel is a journey of growth, of learning, of discovery. It's about stepping into the unknown and coming out the other side a little wiser, a little braver, and a lot more in tune with the world and yourself. So are you ready to embrace the solo travel experience? We bet you are. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. We've delved into the enchanting allure of solo travel, the thrill of planning your own adventure, the essential aspect of staying safe on the road, the art of navigating social situations, and the joy of embracing the solo experience. Think of it like this. You're the author of your own adventure novel. You've got the power to determine the plot, the characters, and the setting. It's a unique journey where you can discover not just new places, but also new aspects of yourself. We've given you the tools, the tips and the tricks. Now it's your turn to take the plunge. Plan that solo trip you've been dreaming of. Let your curiosity guide you and your courage drive you. Remember, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. So go out there and start reading. Thanks for watching.